Hello everybody, my name is Manuela Strada and I am an artist in residence at the Labine Cancer Institute here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'd like to present you an easy, fun and relaxed activity named Scratching Art. I am pretty sure many of you already know about this technique. It was very popular when we were a young student. At least it was in my country, in Italy. Well, I remember back in those days, we all believed that we were great artists. And I think it's mainly because we didn't pay attention to the judgment of others. We created our little masterpiece just for the pleasure of doing it. So let's bring back those feelings. Let our creativity and imagination be our muse and have fun. Now let me introduce what you need as a material. A good paper for this project is the mixed media vellum surface. Very smooth and very easy to work with. You need also oil pastel like gray pass from Sakura. I know that there are people using crayon pastel, but I prefer oil. Anything with a tip will do the scratching work, even a simple toothpick. But personally, I use a glass tip pen. It's so beautiful and honestly, I feel the magic when I'm working with this. So here we go. I choose few colors and you can use any color you like, any combination of color you like. Make sure to choose uh, uh, the brightest color. Dark colors won't work at this stage. So randomly cover your surface. There is no right or wrong here. You can go in any direction. Just pay attention to not leave any white spot. If you like, you can also overlap your colors and mix them together. Like if you mix the yellow and the pink, you will have a very nice peachy color. Be careful to protect the table where you work. Oil pastels crumble and the crumbs may stick to other surfaces. When you are satisfied with the application of the oil pastel and all the white surfaces done, you can proceed with the covering of the colors with the black oil pastel. Don't be afraid, I know it can be scary, but uh, be brave and just do it. Some people I know are using black fluid, uh, acrylic and a dish soap, but I want to keep this uh, um, activity easy and doable everywhere. So I believe that with just one pastel box, you have all the colors you need. Now the black is done and uh, use your uh, scratching tools uh, to make your drawing. Depending on your drawing skills, you can make your composition. Remember, the main goal here is to relax and have fun. So go simple, let your intuition help you. And as I always say, it's not the outcome that matter, but the process. So please enjoy the process. As you can see, I am making some pretty easy butterflies and flowers. You can choose your theme. Can be a, a very simple boats with waves, or trees with leaves, or a series of uh, cups, anything you like. Also, keep in mind, we can always translate our art activity in meditation. So be in the moment, do not engage any conversation with your thoughts. 
Pay attention to the sound of your scratcher on the paper. And of course, if you like, light a scented candle and tune into your favorite music. Breathe. Now I'm going back to something I started earlier. It's a, a combination of a geometric and organic design. I keep repeating the motive without a precise order until the entire surface is covered. This decorative arrangement is inspired by another method very dear to me. I like it very much, the Zentangle. And I'm pretty sure I will do some videos talking and showing this technique. Well, the scratch technique was highly appreciated by the participants in my virtual art class. Many of them found it very rewarding and certainly relaxing. Well, I hope to have kept you good company and to have intrigued you about this technique. Now is your turn. Grab the material you need and enjoy. Thank you.